Hey, and welcome to the third podcast. Today I have with me Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Mom. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Who are you? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm CEO of a company called SIP. Uh, it's uh, ZYB. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find us at CYB.com. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. sorry, guys. Uh, you can find us at CYB.com. Um, what we effectively have right now is uh, the world's first truly free mobile data backup. Works for any operator all over the world and any mobile all over the world as well. And um, that has gotten us uh, well beyond uh, 120,000 uh, users and gotten us some big deals with uh, operators around in Europe and Asia. And um, yeah, that's pretty much where we are right now. And why is that cool? It's it's pretty cool because you know who doesn't need you know name name anyone that doesn't need a bag of the mobile data and the mobile industry hasn't been uh, sorry <laughs> the mobile industry hasn't been 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 capable of, of solving this very very basic issue from te technology technology point of view it's yeah. it's a very very simple uh, simple issue yeah and we're solving that in a very user friendly way so that's amazing and what is the perspective of the company I mean, what, what do you is it European, US, or really global? I mean, how can you... Where are the clients right now? Uh, clients are 60% in, in, in Europe and then 20% uh, in Asia and 20% in US. But the, the, right now, the plan is very much to get a strong foothold hold in, in, in Europe because that's, that's why, where the industry is most prepared to take on partnerships that we're looking for and technology works. US is just... if you see key D on the industry because it's the mobile operators haven't gotten around how to you know to open their, their networks to services like this. So you know Europe definitely and then Asia and then potentially the US as well. Mm. But but the vision of the company goes well beyond backup and that's why we started at all you know free data backup you know doesn't make a lot of sense from a business point of view and, and it's not that exciting. But what we're doing is you upload your contacts and a guy that you don't know do the same and immediately the system will start connecting you because you have more than five connections in common. You never heard about this guy but you're in the same network and that's a bit, it isn't LinkedIn but it's a bit the same idea behind LinkedIn and we can start you up with your real friends from your real world that you have on your mobile instead of starting you from zero and then having to build an electronic kind of network. And, and, and what, is the, what is the coolest client? Can you unveil anything on that? The biggest deals that you have in the pipeline? No. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot unveil anything. We have some, you know, pretty big, we have some market leaders and yeah, the top yeah. market leader in Denmark and a couple of other places in Europe, but we have some really cool deals going on and I cannot reveal anything. No, okay. You're right. And to finish off, when were you bought last time? Bought? Bored. Board, kid, when board, kid. ah, when it was bought, I thought you when you know how, how many how many times was it company acquired? No, it, it hasn't happened yet. No board, that must be. Wow, that's a tough one. Probably when I was looking at some boring spreadsheet uh, a year ago. It's very very exciting times right now, and I'm I'm not bored. It's you don't you don't miss McKinsey. No, no, after four years in McKinsey, you know, I learned a lot and took a lot with me from McKinsey. I still have a lot of respect for them, but I don't miss it. This is so much more exciting and rewarding and steep in the learning curve. So. Okay, thank you so much thank you. for joining the podcast.